Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome back to the Feeding the Sealess series, and this episode is absolutely epic. Like, there are so many cool things that happen in this episode, so you're going to want to stick about. But, this is going to be the ninth episode, the one before the grand finale. Now, before we do get started, if you're looking for a fantastic, cheap, and reliable place to get some FIFA 14 also Team Coins, check the link in the description for the FIFA shop.co.uk and use the discount code TOBY10 for a great little discount on all of your orders, which is awesome. But let's get into the episode. Now, this episode, like I said, is absolutely crazy. Like, seriously, it is really, really awesome. I was having so much fun with the team whilst I was recording this today. And like I said at the start, this is the ninth episode. In the next one, we are playing Pink Slips for the entire team, which is about 300 and 50,000 coins, which is absolutely mad. Now, in this game, the Cena Traore turns into an absolute machine. Like, you will not believe what you are about to witness. The Cena Traore is about to just go mental. He's already on a few goals now. He's got two goals, and he's just going to go absolutely crazy. He's going to get his hat trick right here. I don't know how he's doing this. But that's not it. That is nowhere near it. He gets his fourth here. So he's on four goals. That's four dice rolls already in the 52nd minute. That is absolutely awesome. But we're not done. We are nowhere near finished. He gets a fifth. That is his fifth goal in the 69th minute. We're still not finished. We're nowhere near done yet. He's absolutely tearing this guy to bits. Ball rolls, step overs, roulettes. I don't know how I was doing this. But he just powers on through. Gets another goal. That's his sixth in the 80th minute. Six dice rolls so far. That is his double hat trick, which means we're going to get a bonus of 15,000 coins anyway. Again, he goes on an absolute tear, getting his seventh and final goal of the game. We finish that game 8 1 with Lucina getting seven goals, man of the match, and an assist. That is ridiculous. So he gets 3k for the man of the match, 2k for the assist. And then we're going to roll the dice and see what we get. We get 19,000 coins plus a 5 times multiplier. I'm going to change the 6 to a 5 times multiplier because we've already had one. There was a 10 times multiplier. Cram that all together and we get a humongous 115,000 coins. We've done it, guys. We have done it. We have got Yaya Toure. We're going to go out and buy him now. And I want to know something from you guys. What would you like me to do? If we get some extra money, because we have now got some extra money, would you like me to just get some substitutes and carry on like that? But this is ridiculous. Like, I did not expect Lucina to do that well. Like, seven goals in one game is mad. So I have a bit of extra cash now. I've got around 30k, and I decided to splash a lot of it on some chemistry styles just to make the team even better than it already is, because I am loving this team at the moment. Like, I'm on such a good run of form. I think that was my seventh game in a row that I've won. We'll have to see how I do in the next two games, but this guy has got an incredibly strong team with Thiago Silva, Marquinhos at the back, Sirigu in goal, Falcao up front. I haven't seen anyone use Falcao yet, but the Cena Traore gets up to an amazing start. In the second minute, he's already scoring. We have so much to rely on this man. He's so, so good. If you haven't used him, just give him a chance because he's tough to get used to. But once you do, he is unbelievable. Like, he will finish everything. And he's so good to dribble with, which sounds so weird. But this guy was getting a little bit annoyed because I was literally skilling the absolute hell out of him. Like, I was doing step overs and ball rolls and literally destroying his defense. And he decides that that's enough. He had one shot on target. I had seven. It was the 30th minute. He'd had enough. He was completely out there. But the Cena gets two goals, which means another two rolls of the dice, which is pretty cool. We get a three and a five, so that is 8,000 coins to send over. So we've got even more extra cash. Remember that episode where the Cena didn't score a single goal and I lost all the games? Well, now we're making up for it. Now we are doing absolutely ridiculously. So we're moving in to the final game. I really hope you guys are excited, by the way, for the epic finale, which, like I said, it should be tomorrow, and I'm genuinely very excited, a little bit worried, because in the past when I've done wagers, I've been absolutely terrible when there's something on the line. So I'm a little bit worried, especially when I'm pink slipping 
for 350,000 coins worth of a squad, which is mad. I've never done anything near that at all. Like, I've never done a pink step anyway, but when I've done wagers, they've usually been a maximum of 100,000 coins, but Lucina gets another goal. Like, this man is on ridiculous form, and I'm not going to lie, all of my goals in this game kind of use the step overs and the roulette, like that cut inside that you literally just saw Hulk do. I kind of abused it in this game because this guy that I was against, he didn't catch on to it at all. Like, every time, he'd think that I was going to cross it in. And that is exactly why this move is so amazing. Like, he expects me to cut inside, his momentum carries him forwards, I cut back and I'm straight into the area. And it's an easy goal. It's a really, really easy goal, especially with the finesse shot. So that game ends for one man of the match for Lucina Traore, two goals and an assist as well. So a fantastic game. For Lucina again, and we do in fact win the title with five wins, zero draws, and zero losses. We still have not had a loss in so long, and that's the ninth game in a row. We're going to roll the dice, and we do get 6,000 coins extra, but don't forget we do have the Man of the Match bonus, which is 3k, and the Assist bonus, which is 2k, so that is 11,000 coins. I thought I'd show you this. This is my season history. 93 pass accuracy, 61% possession, 23 goals scored. Six conceded. I'm genuinely proud of that. Like, I know it's only Division 9, and it'd be a lot worse if it's a higher division, but I'm proud. Lasigna gets 34 goals in the 28 games we played. I think that's a pretty good record. Now, if you want me to pink slip this team against you, all you have to do is leave a like and a comment. But thank you so much for the support on this series. It's been amazing. I can't wait for the epic finale. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Have an amazing day, and goodbye.